Today we are removing all Moabs from the game. No Moabs, no BFBs, no DDTs, no ZOMGs, no BADs. We're finally going to be able to just specifically only use Glue Gunner. Yes! But in order to make up for the lack of Moabs that are going to be spawning, we're going to be going up against two times the normal amount of balloons. But also to make up for the fact that I'll probably be making more money, I'm also going to be playing on half cash. <gasps> Ooh. Wait, if there's no Moabs, what would actually be the best hero? Who's going to be... Sada would be pretty good. Adora would probably be really good. Who would be... Who's the... Probably... Would it be Quincy? Would Quincy actually be good? Probably Gwendolyn, right? Gwendolyn's really good against balloons. Azili would probably be the worst. Yeah, I'm kind of the Gwendolyn here. I think Gwen. Oh wait, but Benjamin DJ skin. We're probably. I'm gonna get Benjamin because we are gonna have half cash on, and we are gonna have double the amount of balloons. So that will actually help us out tremendously. So I'm gonna definitely want to go with Benjamin here. To be able to give us some amount of money. Oh my gosh, we only start with 425. So we don't have to worry about Moabs ever. Wow, that's actually such a nice thing to be able to say. I never have to worry about Moabs. Wow, I love that. So now we can just play balloons without ever having to consider... Oh my gosh, but there is a lot of balloons here. There is a lot of balloons here. So what is... Okay, alright, this actually changes things up. So, if I never have to worry about balloons, literally ever, what do I buy? Oh my gosh, there is... I kind of want to get a Juggernaut. I think having a Juggernaut down here would be pretty good. Just because we want a lot of Pierce. Uh-oh, we might actually... What? You can't! Huh? Okay, we're, we should be okay here. Oh my gosh, this guy's actually... How can you not see these... Ugh, I feel like I gotta give this guy long range. I think I got it, so at least you can see the balloons that come down this way. Let's get spike up I also want to put this on last, so he's always targeting down this way. They recently buffed spike up actually, giving him plus, giving him more damage. So the spike up actually does two damage now, which is pretty awesome. All right, now we have spike up Oh my gosh, look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, spike up is the play. Look at that. And it does two damage. That's really good. Maybe we just save up for Benjamin. I think that's probably going to be the best bet. But I don't have to worry about Moabs. I don't have to ever worry about DDTs. I don't have to worry about Moabs. I don't have to worry about ZOMGs or B80s. Oh, wow. Okay, what do, what do we want to buy then? What, what tower becomes really good? So middle path bomb shooter becomes worthless, right? <laughs> Some towers just become really bad now. Right? Imagine this. Monkey preemptive strike is literally worthless. Because no Moab spawn, so why would you ever buy that, right? Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. Drood. Jungle's bounty just became one of the strongest towers in the game. Actually. Because jung there's no Moab, so Jungle's bounty's weakness is Moab. But if there's no wo Moabs, it can just shine. So we're definitely going to want to get one of those. I definitely want to get a glue gunner, right? Because I want to get top path glue gunner because nothing can nothing will be able to stop him. We could literally all we need, literally all we need is just balloon solver. That's it. If we have balloon solver, we are actually one trillion percent good to go. Think about that. We never have to worry about anything ever again. I'm down. I want I want balloon solver. This is gonna be our main. This is gonna be our main boy. Blue Soak. Oh, wait, Benjamin. I totally forgot that I even wanted to buy Benjamin. Once we get skimming, that's going to be so nice. We only need to earn half a dollar, but it will help us out because, man, we are making no money. All right, Glue Soak, Corrosive Glue, and then definitely want to get bigger globs and then Glue Splatter. That's going to be the play. Can glue one additional balloon per shot and solvents melt two layers every second? That's going to be so good. We're just gonna destroy balloons. I have no- never mind. I do have camo detection. I was a little worried. I was a little worried. But we do have camo detection. Do I want to buy Juggernaut? Because that will allow us to pop lead balloons. Wait, no, 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 no. Corrosive glue can- can melt leads. So I don't think- I have- I actually think we're gonna be fine here. If I can get balloon dissolver before round 28, I think we're solid. I don't think that we have really anything to worry about. Healing is- corrosive glue so bad. It, like, it's good, but it's also just bad, right? Okay, there we go. Balloon Dissolver. 
There we go. I guess I want to put this guy on strong, right? And he should be able to. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice. Let's go, glue monkey. So what happens on round 40? Is anything... Do we just... Is round 40 just a free round? Just, just nothing happened on round 40? I mean, I'm not going to complain if that happens. Let's go ahead and get Juggernaut. So that way we can have at least... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, balloons are getting by. Wait, what? Why are balloons getting by? I don't like that. I don't like that balloons think they can sneak on by. Ooh, balloon balloontonium reactor is actually going to be really good, too. Anything that has AoE stuff is going to be... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Wait, that's a lot of camos. You have to remember, we're also going up against double the normal amount of balloons. We are going up against double balloons. So we definitely want to keep that in mind because that could be a little bit spooky. Do I just get balloon liquefier? Let's get balloon splatter so we can just keep getting glue on all the balloons. And then let's get balloon liquefier. We just need $4,400. I probably should get a village so that way we can see camo. And it's a primary tower anyways. So I think that's going to work out for us. I think I'll just put the village right why do i always i always have no idea where i want to put a village okay there we go radar scanner just in time for a huge camo rush perfect all right we're about to go up against round 40 which doesn't matter round 40 is literally gonna be nothing nothing's gonna spawn let's go it's gonna be wild what's gonna happen literally nothing literally nothing it just it just goes to round 40 all right here we go here we go let's see round 40 what happens I'm assuming just nothing's gonna happen, right? Which would be really funny. All right, round 40. And look, it just gives right to 41. No Moab. <laughs> that is amazing because I don't think we would have been able to pop a Moab. Maybe, but I don't think so. All right, let's get balloon liquefier. Oh, and it creates the puddles. Oh my gosh, we're so set. We are actually so set right now. We can get a Druid and then we can just get Druid to the jungle. Target strong. So we're always grabbing them big balloons. Hard thorns. Nice. They made hard thorns more expensive, which makes me very sad. Oh my god, just having a balloon liquefier that just pops everything is amazing. It's so good. Okay, what else do you normally not get? What else can just pop everything? What? You literally, actually, Blade Maelstrom is really good now. I hate to say it. If there's literally never any... Here, we can go Blade Maelstrom. Blade Maelstrom. Ooh, do we want the faster attack speed or the longer duration on the ability? Probably the the faster ability. I think that's probably better. And now we literally can just have Maelstrom. Which is going to be really good. Normally, it's not that great. But if it has infinite pierce and there's double balloons, I think that this Maelstrom is actually going to prove to be very useful for us. I want to just get a Monkey Town. Because I think Monkey Town's going to help us make even more money. Because there's double balloons. So now we're actually going to be making just a normal amount of money. Even though we're playing on half cash. Which is... Mwah. Balloon Trap is also really good. Because, well, if you have Balloon Trap, there's no Moabs that can go through Balloon Trap. So Balloon Trap is also something that's really good. There we go. We can put Ice Monkey right here. And I can just straight up just go Arctic Wind. Snowstorm, larger radius probably, and then refreeze, and now nothing's ever getting past it. We'll get just jungle drums on this bad boy so everyone tags faster. I probably want to just get MIB. I want to be able to just hit all balloon types. I think that would be much better to have that. What are we going to do? We can't lose. This is amazing. I kind of understand the necessity for Moabs now. Now I kind of understand why Glue Monkey and Ice Monkey can't hit Moabs. It's not, be it's literally because they're so powerful that, oh, here we can just, that if they were able to hit that, we would just lose. Sniper Monkey could be really good here, too. Because if there's no Moab, Shrapnel Shot, I think, is going to work really well. I definitely want to get a Shrapnel Shot. How's this guy doing? 29,000 pops? Oh, my gosh. Whoa, 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 wait. Oh, this is round 63. That's why we're having some, well, that's why we're having some technical difficulties. Are we going to be okay here? Yeah. We're going to have one more here. We can use that. And then whoosh. Whoa, we actually were having some problems. Playing with double balloon spawns on round 63 is a little bit intimidating. I probably want to just get balloon solver, right? Because if I get balloon solver, it will literally solve all my problems. No pun intended. I love how cheap bouncing bullet is now, too. That's so good. Ooh, do I even care about any of these towers other than balloon solver? Why am I, why am I, why am I not just going ahead and getting balloon solver? This is what we need to do. How would you guys play if you didn't need to worry about any Moabs? What's the ultimate strategy here? I'm pretty sure it's literally just balloon liquefier. 
I don't think there's anything else that's better. Because the only thing that Bloom Liquifier can't do, the only thing is deal with Moabs. That's it. That's the only problem that it has. I don't think there's any other tower that's similar to that in the regards that it maybe, maybe jungle's bounty, but I don't even think so. I think Balloon Solver is the ultimate balloon. It's why it's called the Balloon Solver. Literally, balloon's a problem. Here's the solution. Like, they just know. The only problem is, is it's really bad against Moabs, right? Super bad against Moabs. All right, Balloon Solver. Oh, wait, and also Jungle's Bounty. Look how many pops Jungle Bounty has. That's amazing. I mean, Jungle's Bounty's kind of doing all the work over here. I'm not complaining in the slightest. I'm just trying to save up and buy, buy my beautiful Balloon Solver. And Balloon Solver, shit. Very cool. Look at that. Now we've got our balloon solver, and now base. Oh, rounds. Oh, just in time for round 76. Nice. Yeah, pretty much nothing can ever spawn now. What is happening? That's the sound of a Moab, but I can't see the Moab. We're on round 77, and wait. That was it. Round 77 was literally just all Moabs, and nothing spawned. I'm assuming as we get past round 80, it's going to start getting a lot easier because most, mostly Moab spawn past round 80. What other things can we get that's just really good? Boomerang monkey, right? Not that we need it. That was round. Not that we ever need anything. Look at how fast the balloons just melt. They can't goo anything. Plasma accelerator is also kind of just a game over, right? Because plas I don't know if plasma accelerator, I don't think plasma accelerator has infinite pierce. So it's not going to be that good against double balloons, actually. We won! But I, we got to keep going. We got to go to round 100. We have to see what the higher rounds go for. What are we going up against? What happens? This is round 81. Round 81, no, no balloons. Oh my gosh. Round 82. Look, our money's going up. Because I think the game is spawning balloons, but then the mod just removes them. So we're still actually... That was it! So round 81 and 82 had nothing else. You can see the gaps of where the mobs are supposed to be. And there's literally nothing there. Nothing is spawning. Look at how much money we're making. These are all supposed to be Moabs, I think, that are spawning. Nope, that was it. That was, that was it. All right, round 85. Round 86. Nothing spawning. Oh my, okay. The game becomes just nothing happens. We're on round 87. 89. We haven't seen any balloons. It's just flying by. All the balloons are just trying to spawn, but nothing. There we go. Round 90. We actually have balloons now. So this is where DDTs. Nope, no DDTs. All right, round 91. <laughs> this is so funny. This is absolutely hilarious. All right, I need Spirit of the Forest. Okay, right, I don't, really don't need Spirit of the Forest. Should I get just the glue gunner? Wait, what if I'm going to literally just have glue gunner? That's it. I have nothing else. I'll also get rid of Benjamin. There we go. That's it. Round 93 versus just the balloon solver. Even though, wait. It's still, we're just stuck. All right, round 94. Nothing spawns. There's literally nothing out here. It's just, oh, round 95. Okay, the notorious round 95. The legendary difficult round of 95. Yeah, do you guys see it? That was it. That was round 95. How was that? Was that a difficult round, friends? Was that an absolutely crazy round? All right, round 96. <laughs> this, is, this is round 97. 98. Oh my gosh, literally nothing. Literally nothing can spawn. What? Is there anything? I don't think that's it. I, I, or I think that is it. Because 99 and now there's nothing. And then it just goes straight. Round 100. We did it. We beat 100 rounds. Let's go. Balloons are back. All right, everyone. Maybe there's a good reason why Moabs are actually in the game. Uh, they add quite a bit. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.